this video, I will teach you how to calculate Ka and Kb for a particular equation. In chemistry, there are many Ks, and these constants are very helpful in that they can tell you a lot about what is going to happen in a particular reaction. In this case, the Ka and the Kb represent dissociation constants, and the higher the Ka or the higher the Kb will tell you how strong an acid or a base is, depending on what you get. The Ka stands for the dissociation constant of the acid, and the Kb stands for the dissociation constant of the base. So um, a higher Ka means that uh, the acid is stronger and that it will be able to dissociate more or completely in, in an aqueous solution. But I will speak more about that when I get into pKa in a future video. So like it's, like it's the case for the other K constants, the K M and KB can be found um, through the same method. So here I wrote um, a normal equation showing that A plus B will form C plus D. So A and B are the reactants and C and D are the products. And the way you find the K is by obtaining the concentration of the products and dividing that by the concentration of the reactants. So in this case, it will be the concentration of C times the concentration of D over the concentration of A times the concentration of B. And that is how you find any K constant. So now let's get into the particular cases. Let's start with the Ka. In this equation, I'm showing how an acid will dissociate into its conjugate base. And the way it works is that it's good to label everything you have in an equation. So in this case, um, the HA represents the acid because it has a proton that will donate to the water, which is right here. And due to the amphoteric nature of water, it can act as a base or an acid depending on what it, on what it interacts with. In this case, because it's with an acid, it will act as a base accepting this proton right here. And as it accepts that, it will form the hydronium ion, H3O+, and that is aqueous. And now the acid that we started with, HA, as it donates that proton, it will lose it and it will form A-, which we have right here. A- represents the conjugate base of this reaction and the hydronium is the conjugate acid. The way you can remember that is that if you flip this equation, the hydronium has an extra hydrogen that it wants to donate to become water, so that acts as the acid, so that makes it the conjugate acid, and the A- has to accept that proton to go back to that initial acid, HA. And now, because we started with that acid, HA, we want to to find the Ka. And using the same method as before, the Ka will be the products over the reactants. In this case, the products are the hydronium ion, H3O+. Plus. We find the concentration of that and the conjugate base, A-. Minus. And that will be over the initial acid we have, which is HA. We do not include water because it's a liquid. So this right here is our acid dissociation constant. And again, I like to label everything I have in my reaction, my equation, because right, right here, HA is an acid. And water, we know that it's amphoteric, so it can be an acid or a base. So depending on what you start with, you will know if you have to find the Ka or the Kb. If we started here with a base instead of the acid HA, we would be um, finding the Kb, and that makes a big difference. So this Ka right here represents the specific acid dissociation constant of this acid HA. And now let's look at the Kb. The process is the same. Again, you can, you can label this. B here represents the base. Uh, in this particular case, water acts as an acid as it will donate um, this 
this proton right here to the base forming BH plus as well as the hydroxide ion OH minus which we have here using the same method as before the OH minus will accept a proton from the BH plus making the the conjugate base and because the BH plus if the, the BH plus if we flip the equation will donate that proton to go back to the base that makes it the conjugate acid and just like the Ka the Kb here will be equal to the concentration of the products so we have BH plus times the concentration of the other product which is OH minus and that will be over the concentration of the base and just like before we do not include water in this reaction in this case this would be the KB the dissociation constant of this base knowing how to determine the Ka and KB are very fundamental concepts of acid base chemistry so make sure to understand them very well and that wraps it up for this video thank you for watching I hope you liked it and found it useful and if you did please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one also if you have any thoughts or questions don't hesitate asking us